In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to change the order, the color, and group your tracks in Harrison Mix Bus 32C. Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, coming back at you with another video. So if you haven't done so already, feel free to subscribe down below and click the bell so you'll be notified when I release new videos in this series. So the next step after you import your tracks is to change the order, color code them, and also group them so that way we can move on to the next step, and that is actually getting into mixing your song. So based off of the previous video, I'm going to choose Command I. I already have a session chosen here, so I'm going to choose the first track, scroll down to the last one by holding down Shift and click. It's going to highlight all of them. And these tracks will be added as new tracks, mapping one track per file, and insert at start of session. So let's go ahead and choose import. Now we can just close out of this box, and here is our session. So one thing I like to do is have my track start a little bit farther away from the track header. So let's go ahead and choose the first track, Command A, that's gonna highlight all of them. Now I'm simply just going to drag my tracks. So it leaves me a little bit of space there. And I'm just gonna slide over my start marker and we'll be good to go. So I cannot stress enough the importance of a properly named track. And fortunately for us, the last engineer decided to actually number his tracks as well. So you can see at the beginning of each region, we have a 0, 01 kick, 0, 02 kick out, 0, 03 snare, 0, 04, all the way down to track 16, which is 16 lead Vox 3. So as far as order goes, how do we change the order of our tracks? There's a very simple way of doing this. Just by clicking on the track header, you can hit command up arrow to raise it up and command down arrow to lower it down. If we have a certain group of tracks, let's say we wanna move the drums all the way down to the bottom, I can click the first track header, click the last one I wanna move, and now hit command down arrow and it'll move them all together. Now, if you keep doing this, it'll cycle through the tracks you have selected. So you do kinda of need to be careful on how much you hold that down, but it is a fairly quick and easy way to move your tracks. If I choose the flute, the bass amp, and the drum room, for example, and I want to move these down, I can. You can see it took a few clicks, but it moved them all together. Let's move these back to where they were. There's another way to move tracks as well by hitting Shift L. That's going to bring up the editor list. And just like in the main editor, we can take a group of tracks and we can move them up or down. So if you prefer to see it this way, you can totally do that, or you can just hide that and do it all within the edit window right here. All right, let's go ahead and talk about coloring our tracks. If you right click on a track header, you can choose color, and now it'll bring up our color palette. We can move the wheel around. You can see that the region is now gonna change colors as well. If you wanna make finer adjustments, you can take the circle and you can move it around inside the triangle, which is really neat. Now for me, I like to color my tracks according to the group that they're in. Now let me show you two ways to make groups in Mixbus. And then we can actually choose the color for that group. So the first way to make a group is to select the first track, hold down shift, select the last track you want in the group. And now we're gonna simply left click and we're gonna drag all the way down. Now when we release, the track bus group dialog box comes up and we can go ahead and name the group. We're gonna call it drums. I want this to be a certain color. So I'm gonna choose the blue block here, but let's just say, for example, that I want to slightly alter the color of this. So let's move this little circle so it's maybe a little bit lighter. Then I want to store that color on that block. So I'm gonna right click and it's gonna say save color here. So just move the mouse over so that's highlighted. And now that exact color is stored on that block. We can press OK and then press New. And now all my drum tracks are the same color. If I move the group, you can see that the tracks that are no longer in that group are not the same color anymore. So I can just keep dragging this down 
and all the tracks will change colors as well. We do have two bass tracks here. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to draw a little bubble. We're going to call this bass. And I do like having my bass tracks pink. So let's go ahead and use that color. Press OK and press New. Now, another way to make a group is to highlight your tracks the same way as I showed you before. But now in the black area, we can right click and say create new group from selection, record enabled, or soloed. So that's kind of neat. I'm going to go ahead and do this by selection. We'll call it guitar for now. And then we'll choose our color. So now you can see this group is green. But let's say we don't want the flute to be in the group anymore. So we can just move that group up. And now the flute is out of the group and it changes back to its original color. Let's right click on the flute track header and we're going to choose color. Let's go ahead and make this one orange. Then the same thing for the lead vocal. We'll make this yellow. So here's the session, all colorized and grouped and ready to go. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe down below. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And just for fun, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what colors you'd like to use for your tracks. I am Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'll see you in the next video.